So next we'll go into Uttanasana. Uttanasana is forward fold. Often we'll go into Uttanasana from Urdhva Hastasana, from arms overhead. So that's how I'll set it up. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, arms overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with the chest. Forward fall, spine stays straight as long as possible. Bring hands to the floor, relax the neck. Now, not all your students will be able to bring their hands to the floor, but we'll get to this in a minute. For those who can, the hands are placed on either side of the feet. The shoulders are still drawing away from the ears, just like you did in Tadasana, shoulder blades down the back. In other words, they're not collapsing into the ears. The spine stays straight as long as possible. Careful not to draw the weight too far back into the heels. And also, don't grip with the toes. The toes are grounding into the mat and pressing into the mat, not gripping the surface of the mat. Neck is relaxed. You can bend the knees as needed, but if you're able, keep the legs straight. Lift the kneecaps just like you did in Tadasana. There's two ways to come out of this. Inhale, extend arms overhead. I came up with a straight spine. Maybe back to Anjali Mudra. Or you come up. I'll do this from the side. You can come up with a rolling spine, which is a very nice warm-up. The way I would cue that is to bend the knees and slowly roll up while I'm tucking my tail to protect my low back. My head is the last to come up. My fingertips are heavy. I roll up into Advastasana and exhale into Anjali Mudra. Now for Uttanasana, I would offer most students the use of blocks because their hands are not going to get all the way to the floor. So you could have a couple blocks ready right in front of you. Yeah, and as you know, you can start either with feet, uh, feet hip distance or feet all the way together. Now, the wider the feet are, the easier a forward fold is. So for newer students, go wide. Even for, you know, really new students that have very tight hamstrings, starting really wide, like feet as wide as the mat, will make your forward fold a lot easier. And this could be where you start for a while and you don't go any further than this, or even hands on a chair. Could be plenty for some people. But let's just assume that we can do our Tadasana hip distance. We're standing in Tadasana again. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, as you remember. Exhale, Uttanasana, hinging from the hips. My spine is straight, my spine is straight. Now, bring your hands here to the blocks. I'm just putting little spider fingers on the blocks so that I can keep my spine really straight. So work to get the spine lengthened out, straightened out, and then see how much room there is in the hamstrings. So place the hands on the blocks, slowly come forward, and maybe get rid of the blocks, maybe keep the blocks, or lower them to a lower setting, and then slowly fold. Now at some point, the student is gonna round their back, right? So at some point you can't keep the spine straight any longer, and you allow some rounding of the spine. But you just try to maintain the length in the spine as long as you can before you drop into the actual Uttanasana, relaxing the neck. Yeah? Uttanasana. Just showing you here too, the wider Uttanasana. Very good way to start off in a class where you're just introducing Uttanasana, bringing hands to hips, let the, the, the tilting come from the hips or the hinging come from the hips so it doesn't come from the back. Yeah, so that's a little bit different. You can see how this requires that my hamstrings lengthen as I fold forward and just play with that, play with the wider feet, play with the blocks, play even with a chair or something even higher to get that integrity, lengthen the spine, lengthening the back of the legs and work it from there. What happens if you're not working this from the hamstrings, you end up working it from the low back and this part of the back, the lumbar spine, gets really tired. So try to, to bring the focus in the Uttanasana to the lengthening of the back of the legs more than to a sort of a rounding in the lumbar spine. 